Hello, this is Jim from the Better Slots Company. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how to set up your Bluebird 1 or Bluebird 2 type machine after you have done a full clear of its memory and you've installed a new game file that you want to play. This video is also for those that have a known working printer and uh, when you uh, cash out you uh, want it to actually print a ticket. If you also want it to receive a ticket, you're going to need a Tito device uh, installed. And uh, if you don't have one, you can contact us. Uh, we do sell uh, a couple different better Tito products that allow your machines to uh, accept tickets. At this point, this machine has been cleared. Uh, we've installed the new game we want to play, its operating system and uh, we turn the machine on and we've actually closed the door so go ahead and do that so at this point I'm gonna uh, just uh, stop the video for a moment and we'll come right back okay we're back as you can see the screen looks differently the uh, key thing to look for here is the blue floating screen and you want it to say call attendant when it does you want to open the door you're going to hear an alarm At that point, you want to push the diagnostic button, which is located right here by the yellow tag that says diagnostic. Leave your door resting open. You don't want to close it all the way. And as you can see, we're now in the uh, main menu and we're going to start setting up everything. First thing to do is touch setup, machine setup, then touch device setup. It'll list all these different components. Since we uh, have a printer, I don't care what printer type you have, I want you to select Netplex. You do that by touching the bar until it cycles around and gets to the right uh, line item. For coin, touch once so it says none. Hopper, touch once so it says no hopper. Bill validator, you want to select until it picks your bill validator type. You're either going to have a JCM, which will be a WBA or a UBA or you're going to have a Mars. Uh, and then the button panel, you want to touch one time so that it says standard button panel, which is probably what you have unless you have an OLED button deck. And then you can cycle around and find that. So after you're done, touch save and exit. It take, takes us back to the main menu. Next button you want to touch is the one that says credit setup. In the top left, it says base and on. Touch the red bar next to it. It's going to bring up a keypad. You want to enter 0 .01 for a penny. Then touch enter. You can see it turns green and just confirm it says $0.01 dollars. Next line item is where it says multi denon. Right now it says not set. So just touch it once so it's enabled. That will allow you to enable several different denominations later. At this point touch set. You can see the bars uh, green bar is turned off which means it accepted our uh, input and you're ready for the next thing. This button here where it says Denom Configuration, touch that one time, it's going to take you to this new screen. It'll have the game that you're loading up in the corner so you touch your game and it's going to bring up all the possible Denom con configurations and since we set it up uh, for multi Denom, uh, I'm going to pick a couple here but you can pick several. So I'm going to do penny. It's going to bring up a table. The table will list the percentages of payout. Usually you want the highest. And then you'll also notice there's a line item next to that, just to the left. It's the number of lines that the games play. So this game will play 20 lines. I can click next and keep going through the list. There's 25 and 30 lines that you can also play. So I'm going to pick 25 lines at the highest payout. It turns green. Just touch set. It goes back to the previous menu and you can see now it's accepted. I'm going to also, I'm going to do nickel. I'll do 25 lines at the same payout, then touch set. And so now you're done. At the bottom, touch save. It'll bring up this confirmation screen, just touch yes. It takes you back to the previous menu. At the bottom middle, you're going to want to touch save for all pay tables. It'll bring up a little confirmation screen. Just touch confirm. You're done with this page it, uh, where it says based on. So at this point, touch exit. 
So it takes you back to the main menu. At this point, you want to set up clock. If you don't care about what time the machine's set for, you can go ahead and touch set, and it'll go back to the uh, previous menu. If you do care, you can touch change time zone. It's going to bring up a listing of countries. You want to find your country, and then it'll take you to a new menu, and you select your time zone. So I'm in the uh, eastern U.S. At this point, I'm going to touch set, which takes me back to the first menu for time. And now, if you want to, you can come in here and touch each block of information for the time and the date and the year and so on. So for each block you just touch, it brings up a keypad, you change uh, whatever it is, and then touch enter, and then you'll see it change. When you're done, touch set at the bottom, and you can see it takes you back to the previous menu. Uh, the last thing that you're going to want to do, uh, since this has a printer, uh, is you're going to want to touch com, you're going to want to touch serial ports and under host com one you're going to want to uh, touch that one time so that says SAS primary to the right of that it opens up a, a button that says config touch that and it's going to take you to a new menu the only thing you care about this new menu that says SAS setup next to validation you want to touch it once so that it says standard and then touch save which takes you back to the previous menu. You touch set. It'll bring up a confirm screen. Just touch yes. Now, you're going to see that it, uh, this previously grayed out button in the middle is now highlighted red. It says host setup. So you touch that. It's going to bring you to a new menu. Uh, you could have several different line items, but basically you want them all to say SAS primary except for the one that says voucher in. Uh, because you don't have a Tito device installed, your machine's not going to be able to accept vouchers in, but it will cash them out. So again, starting at the top here, this one has legacy bonusing. You touch it once, so it says SAS primary, machine control, SAS primary, meter is already SAS, so leave that one alone. I'm going to leave voucher in alone and leave that turned off. And then voucher out, I'm going to touch one time, so it says SAS primary. After that, touch save. Takes you back to the previous screen. Touch exit down here in the corner. Takes you back to the main menu, and at this point, you are done. So in the bottom left-hand corner, touch return to game. And then you're going to want to go ahead and close your door. And then at this point, it's uh, going to continue to uh, boot up. It could take anywhere, I don't know, between a minute and four minutes uh, to, to completely boot up your game at this point. So just sit patient. At the bottom of middle of the screen, you'll see a little uh, uh, bit of information that says restart. That's just information to you that it's restarting. And uh, some games like this one, it'll bring up a little loading bar just like you see on a computer with a percentage and uh, that way it'll give you an idea of how it's coming along but eventually your game will come back so once it does go ahead and uh, insert credits and you're ready to play okay we're back as you can see our game came up all we have to do is insert some credits plays and then you can also cash out. And you can see it prints a ticket. Okay, have fun.